It seems like every time the employment minister finds rock bottom, it keeps getting worse. First, he said he wasn't the Randy involved in his company, but we know there was only one Randy at his company. He said he wasn't involved with his company while in cabinet, and text messages reveal that he is. He said that he was indigenous to profit from government contracts stealing from First Nations communities. And now there's new news of coordinating business activities with drug smugglers and convicts. This is the behavior of a low-life fraud, not a federal cabinet minister. Simple question, how does that guy still have his job? The Honourable Minister for Employment and Workforce Development. Mr. Speaker, despite the innuendo, here are the facts. I don't know the person in question. I never met that person in question. But Mr. Speaker, those are simply the facts. The article even says that I've never met the person in question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member from Thornhill. Here are the facts. He flaunts the ethics rules. He claims a false identity. He gets caught in a web of lies. That's what the Prime Minister rewards after nine years. With each passing day, we find out more about the Employment Minister's scams and schemes, and we learn that he's just a phony and a fraud. Canadians want to know. Indigenous communities who, stole from him, who he stole from want to know. And Liberal backbenchers want to know when the Prime Minister is going to fire that Cabinet Minister. The Honourable Minister for work, sorry, Employment and Workforce Development. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I don't know the person in the article from today. I've never met the person in the article from today. Those are the facts. Mr. Speaker, the Conservatives may not like it, but it's actually in the article that I don't know the person in question. Never met them.